Please remember that all the opinions in the show are those of the host and should only be taken as food for thought. We're in no way telling you to do anything. Everything is kept anonymous for the safety of the listeners and no information is shared to anyone else. If you are easily offended by people's opinions or views, then thank you for making it this far, but this is not the podcast for you, so see you later. And please enjoy the rest of the show. Uh, this is and says, I'd like to thank you for the kind advice, but I never had the balls to go through with it. Maybe this time I will. Uh, oh, it was the guy that was a, a delivery driver and he wanted to ask a person out that he delivers stuff to. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And I, I can't, I'm pretty sure I said about putting my dick in a box or something. I can't remember. Yeah, that was like some weird in, in your window. Like that. <laughs> um, he says, I started a job working at Simmons, the bakery chain. You may have heard of it. Um, I'm not sure about down, down south. It is down, it is a southern thing, isn't it? Simmons? Yeah. Yeah, because up here near me, it's like um, Stephen, Baines, Baines, whatever it's called. Yeah, they're not down here. No. Um, I really fancy Simmons a girl who comes. Like slightly posher Greg's. Yeah, it is, yeah. Like, but the cakes are massive. I haven't been in one for ages, but I always remember that. Because hmm. one opened up across the co-op we used to work in. Yes, it did. Um, yeah. Uh, I really fancy a girl who comes in on Sunday mornings like clockwork. I'm so low with self-confidence, I've never spoken to her. But I would love for her to know that I'm interested. How would I go about that? Mate, I'd Give be Give her fucking... a bacon bap with your, a picture of your dick in it. I was about to say, is that an Ninja window for Baker Bat? <laughs> <laughs> you just come out with the front with, <laughs> out of the back with just an apron on and a roll around your fucking piece. <laughs> 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 or like you're holding the Bacon Bat underneath your apron and you walk out the front and just whip the apron off. <laughs> um, you got to get, get on that fucking till, man. Cakes with you with your face on it. it. Yeah, <laughs> like the pillow. Um, yeah, you got to get on that till, man. That's what I would do. And if she comes in, if you know exactly what time she's coming in, um, you'll probably know what her order is. I'd be right out the front there, waiting. I would do. I would be slightly weird, and I would um do a thing where I would buy some cakes or whatever, and I'd say I'm going to do some charity thing for like half a morning. And I would like try and get that as a way to talk to her. But oh, do you want a free cake? Um, we'll just talk about this and just put, make a fake questionnaire up and shit, and then just fucking weasel a conversation out of her. And then as soon as she goes, just pack all that shit up, throw it in the bin. This guy's got low self esteem. He ain't gonna make up a fucking questionnaire and buy some cake for this woman. I can imagine going in and seeing you with some free cakes. I'd be like, "What are you doing, man?" You like, <laughs> Mate, I did it. I I fucking got a chin at ten and celebrations at Christmas one year, and I was like um, standing in the shop at the front, like handing it out to fucking people, just because I was trying to get in with this girl that kept coming in. <laughs> That's so lame. <laughs> that is lame. But yeah, did it get me anywhere? No. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice. A star, Joey. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's the same with the uh, guy in the last episode that said about the woman in class that doesn't know he exists. Mm. Like, if you know when she comes in, mate, just get on that fucking till. That's the easiest way to... Because then you're having a conversation with her at, it's, it's not weird because she's buying something and then you can just sort of, you know, throw make some extra like... two piece. Yeah, throw in a couple jokes, a couple digs. Oh, you're back again. Never leave here, do you? <laughs> yeah, make a real big uh, deal about her coming in. Yeah. And then like, I'm sure she probably orders the exact same thing. You can have it ready. Be like, oh, saw you come in. I mean, love it. You got to give her a little wink. She'd be like, your boyfriend picking you up today. <laughs> That'd be a good one, yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, just because she doesn't, she thinks you're weird and doesn't want you to think she's single. And then you slap a pecan pie out of the fucking hand as soon as she says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Just like drop a cake in front of him and be like, this one's free now. Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible advice we're giving this guy. It is terrible advice, yeah. It is literally terrible advice. I think, the... I, think, I think the only part you should take from what we're saying is put yourself on the tills and talk to her a little bit. Yeah. Everything else, ignore. Well, no. Women love a little like bantery dig, like a little bantery jive. So she she comes in a lot. She probably knows some of the the staff already. Like we go into a local place near Sabina, and they're fucking. We, we, I can't, we went in there on Saturday to get a coffee, and they were like, "Wow!" And they're fucking. Everyone's coming up and talk to her. Like people that are coming in trying to get served aren't getting served because they're talking to Sabina. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then I got like a massive brownie. It was like dairy free, gluten free. It was fucking banging. That could be a northern thing as well, though. I don't think people down south will talk to each other that much. Sabina's not northern. Yeah, but she's up north. <laughs> I think she just she's just been in there so many times. Like she sometimes sees the owner, and she's like mm. talking to him, and I'm like, "Who's that?" And she's like, "Oh, he owns this thing." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Because he goes to a like, haven't seen you in a while, and I'm like, "Beg your fucking pardon." <laughs> that's my fucking girlfriend you know, <laughs> yeah, no, well, you have fucking seen her. Um, yeah and then you know she like leaves them little ducks oh yeah she left in like your house yeah like I was standing there and like they found them all in the in the coffee shop and they've lined them up near the till so <laughs> yeah, and, but go. um but yeah easiest thing is just get on the till man like we said to the guy before like once she knows even if she like knows your name or sees you that's just to get it started and then yeah. you can work from there yeah and you might already be making a effect on her anyway you don't even know yet yeah so get on those tills man mm-hmm.